big fuss. A fuss over toxic pesticides used in New York City parks. I think this is a good law that should pass because pesticides are bad for people. A fourth grader at PS290, Jesse Balsam, says he's been researching this topic since he was in Mrs. Rogovin's kindergarten class. Now they're at city council chambers stating their case in skit form. So pesticides and herbicides and toxic. Grades kindergarten through third also joined in, testifying, if you will, in favor of intro 0800, a bill which calls for banning toxic pesticides in city parks and public spaces. It was first introduced in May 2015. Council member Ben Kalos was one of the sponsors, and some of these children have been here advocating before. We um, protested a little bit. Councilman Kalos says his goal is to have only biological pesticides that come from natural materials used instead of synthetic materials. He says what's most concerning is the herbicide spray called Roundup being used. The World Health Organization found that it was a carcinogen, so we introduced the legislation right away. The kids and their teachers say they worry about little kids who don't know any better. They roll around in the grass. The Parks Department tells CBS2 they are thrilled that area kids care so much about the parks, but in some cases they have no choice but to use toxic pesticides to protect native species and public health. When they do, by law, they make it very clear by posting signs. Kids playing sports don't go around reading the signs saying, oh, they, they sprayed over here, we shouldn't touch. Rogovin says she's hoping other lawmakers listen to her students' message. At City Hall in Lower Manhattan, Aaron Logan, CBS 2 News. Councilman Kalos is hoping to get this legislation passed by the end of the year.